Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories like these. Now, let's get into today's story video. Cheat on me, I'll get my revenge. Just a small bit of background knowledge. I married when I was 18 and she was 16, and we had two children. I accidentally made her pregnant, although we had been dating for over a year at the time. The fact that it was her second pregnancy, and she had given birth to a boy when she was 15 years old, caused neither parent to be upset. The next 10 years saw us marry and have three more children together, and it was at this point that things started to go sour for us. Following the birth of her final child, she requested that her tubes be closed, I consented, and everything was well. The growth of my company began about six months after the birth of my child, and I was promoted to the position of head of the paint department, prefab steel buildings. For the first several months, I worked around 80 hours each week to get everything up and running. It took around four months for my hours to recover to normal, which amounted to approximately 50 hours. My marriage started to fall apart while I was away on a four-month business trip. When she reached for her paycheck, I was met with the remark, you are never home anymore, which was, of course, a no-brainer. I started to hear rumors about her and one of her staff in the background. Her infidelity wasn't the first time she betrayed my trust so it didn't come as a shock to me. Due to the fact that I had not informed her of the change in hours, I returned home early to find her and this guy naked on my couch. His buttocks were exposed when he walked through the front window, which caught me off guard. Then she pulled out a knife, and I was stabbed in the arm during the subsequent struggle. After seeing this naked guy leap through the window, hop into his car, and speed away, neighbors called the police to report what they had seen. My blood is gushing out of my body, and I'm being held in jail for domestic violence, despite the fact that I never touched her. The police officers rap. My arm in a kit and book me into the station, so I go to the station. It seems that my remark has bewildered them. After about an hour, they release me and thankfully, the charges are dismissed. We ended up divorcing, it was amicable, with decent visitation, and everything was well. She married the man with whom she had been cheating precisely three days after the divorce. I was still enraged and it occurred to me how to exact my vengeance. Let's fast forward roughly six months. She dropped by my flat one afternoon to speak. Yes, it was that time. I used every nicety I could think of, played the game, and finally got her to sleep. I had every kind of nefarious I could think of. After that, we were lying in bed, and she was telling me how awful her marriage was and how she wanted to come back to me, blah, blah. I rolled over and looked her in the eyes, saying, Nip it, I got what I wanted. Now go home to your husband. What she didn't understand was that throughout the experience, I had snatched her phone and contacted her husband, leaving it on the dresser so he could hear everything. She woke up, dressed, and grabbed her phone, which she glanced at and turned white. As she dashed out the door, I couldn't help but grin. They man did divorce her because of that. Revenge tastes good. My children are all grown and out of the home, and I'm remarried to a great lady whom I adore. I've heard that the ex and her ex-husband are back together, and remarried approximately a year ago. If I didn't love my wife, I'd exact my vengeance once again. Story 2. I, 26 male, cheated on my wife with a stripper. Mixed feelings, feels good. I read this sub often, and it helps me both introspectively as a dedicated guy and erotically as a pig. I decided I'd take part and relate my tale. I hope everyone reading this gets what they want out of it. Please feel free to message me or leave a comment, favorable or bad. I'd welcome both. So I'm a pretty looking, somewhat successful guy who is happily married. I've been in a relationship for many years and couldn't be happier or more content with it in every way. Almost anything, I suppose. I regularly dream about various sorts of infidelity. Maybe it's a kink. Maybe I'm a jerk with no control. I'll leave it up to the reader to decide. Personally, I believe the sleaziness appeals to me. Cheap with cheap people. My wife is away at work one night and will not return home till the next morning. I make the decision to go to a strip club. I've been there a couple of times and have seen my fair share of dancers in nudity. We did various lap dances, some hot and near to dry, others more subdued. That night, I was high and a bit inebriated, so I strolled in. Now, my usual approach at strip bars is to have a few drinks and enjoy the show. I never became too enamored with any one dancer or attempted to acquire any form of activity. Even simply speaking with the females like a regular person and not some monster on a quest gave me a lot of confidence. That night, I must have been an easy target, drunk slash high, 
because as soon as I had a drink at the bar, I was approached by a female. She was much older than me and had probably once been gorgeous, but at this point in her life, she seemed to have taken a toll from her lifestyle. She could have appeal, but it was the appeal of a malnourished porn actress beyond her prime. And her teeth were all messed up, which was instantly obvious. At this point, I should have moved on, but she gets onto my lap, her slim figure in nothing more than a bikini and leans towards my ear, her face and lips brushing against my neck. She grabs my and tells me that if I get a VIP dance from her, she'll take care of it, squeezes my, and then shows me a bag full of condoms. At this point, all sanity had gone me, and despite my conflicting emotions about all that was going on, I knew I was going to let her take care of me. If anybody is interested, I'd be willing to share some of the logistics debate and bargaining, but I'll skip to the key bits. Almost $500 later, I'm in a dark area of the club, and she's doing a half ass lap dance and edging towards the act. I'm fairly inebriated and frightened, and she says at one point, listen, if you're a policeman, just bust me. I assume I wasn't acting like one of her regular customers. I promise her that I'm simply apprehensive, but she has her doubts since I'm having difficulties getting erect. Somewhere between anxiousness and her proclivity for foreplay. She was a horrible vulgar lady with a whole rubbish demeanor. When it came down to the simplicity and humiliation of paying for, so much of the pleasure I expected of messing about with the loose dancer was shattered. She slides down low and sucks my cock briefly and ineffectively, and I ultimately harden. She insists I'm always, but I'm sure it's just a bunch of nervous precum. She handles the entire thing as if it were a tedious work, and I was, immediately wishing it was done. At this time, she's nude, and I'm finally putting on the condom. I was sitting uncomfortably and in a public place, so comfort was non-existent. I penetrate her as she straddles me. I'll admit that it felt fantastic, but it wasn't the type of that would blow anyone's mind. It was mechanical and shady set up to seem like a lap dance, and I had no real control over her or my movements. I arrived immediately and hurried to get out, without the condom falling off, which was difficult since she just continued grinding on me. I zipped up fast, came all over my hands and trousers. She requested for more money, and I was caught between not having any and not understanding why she deserved any more money. I exited the club in an embarrassing manner. I went home, still a little tipsy and overwhelmed with a jumble of feelings. I was overcome with shame and remorse, not just because I had genuinely cheated but also because it was such a stupid choice to a prostitute. I was also ecstatic to have gotten away in such a naughty situation. My balls felt both empty and full, and I could smell her perfume and cigarette smoke all over me in a trashy miasma. Do I realize I made a mistake? Absolutely. Is it something I'd do again? Most likely not, but I'm weak, full of passion and imagination. I eventually left the meeting feeling embarrassed and filthy. I've become a lot harder and better with my wife or even alone play, and with a lot less danger. But I recall the scene clearly and sensationally to this day. Reimagining how it all felt, both literally and intellectually, still gets me hot. I believe that some of the enjoyment stem from the low cost of the whole process. In my imagination, I can still see her crouched over me in my lap, passionlessly pounding into me as I helpless came within her. I'm sure served guys before and after me that night. I can still feel how it felt to release my load into that condom within her. So filthy. It's scorching. So that's the gist of it. I hope everyone who reads this will express their ideas with me, either publicly or privately. For me this article is half catharsis and part porn, so please express yourself. I'm keen to discuss this with someone.